What's going on, guys? And yes, I know everybody- a few people are saying, yes, I'm aware my room is messy, okay? I actually have OCD, and it's driving me nuts. If any of you have OCD, you know messes drive you crazy. Yeah, I've been busy. I- I- it's hard to get under- just leave me alone. But anyways, we're not here to talk about my messy room. We're here to talk about the new tune cards that are released. Or should I say one tune card, because everybody's kind of going on about how the new tune support's kind of good and whatever. Now, the tune Cyber Dragon and tune, uh, Agent Gear Golem, I think it is? Not amazing, doesn't really matter. They do tune stuff, what tunes do. No, what's the star of the show and that makes tunes maybe like a actual somewhat playable deck is Tune Kingdom. Now for some reason you haven't heard of this card yet, uh, let me tell you what it's about. Actually, let me read it off right here so I don't mess anything up. So, it's a field spell card and it's called Tune Kingdom. And when this card resolves, banish the top three cards of your deck face down. When this face of card, this face of card is also treated as Tune World. Two monsters you control cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects. If a two monster you control will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish one card from the top of your deck face down instead of instead for each monster that would be destroyed. They word it weird. It's but yeah. So basically, each time a monster will be destroyed, you can banish a card face down. So if you get three monsters destroyed, you can banish a card face down. It goes like that. From what I'm reading, if what I'm reading correct is true. So yeah, that's how it works. Anyways, the reason why this makes Tunes a lot better is because first off, Tune World had nothing else besides Tune World going for it. It was Tune World. You can play your tunes. That's pretty much all it had. And you got to pay a thousand life points to activate it. That's a little bit of bullshit. From what I see, there's no cost for this card. It's a field spell, which is a lot better, and it protects pretty much all your tune monsters, which pretty much was one of the problems of tune, it's, it just, you needed some protection, because some of their effects were pretty cool, I and mean, you can attack directly, it's kind of like a Watt thing, you can keep attacking your opponents directly as long as there's tune world on the field. What's even cooler about this is this card can be searched by tune table of contents, and tune table of contents I think is at three if I remember correctly, don't quote me on that, but I think it is. So now you have three searchers for this field spell, you have the field spell, and you can search out all your Toon monsters if the Cyber Toon Cyber Dragon is called Toon Cyber Dragon and so on. I'm pretty sure it's going to be. I mean, we had that Manga Ruran thing, but if you don't know Manga, isn't that Toon in Japanese? I could be wrong, but I, you know what I'm saying? Like, they might have to do an errata on two table of content, which would be retarded, but they should just put Toon in front of all the cards to search them out. So basically, you have searches for the deck, now you have a pretty good field spell for the deck that isn't just shitty Toon World, and you're getting some new monsters for it, and the three Cyber Dragons I feel like would add to the rest of the Toon Arsenal, but I feel like we still need like one more Toon card. I don't know what that would be, but I feel like we need something more than that um, to wrap it all together. But if it was just the monsters that were released, uh, this wouldn't have mattered. It, it, it's like, whatever, it's Toon cards. But Toon World's what makes the cake, and that's what, that's what makes it better. In fact, I've always actually been interested in Toons, and if they uh, make at least one more Toon monster come out, or maybe they announce another one, but if not, I'd still probably try to pick up the deck with this new card, because it seems pretty interesting, whatever the hell it comes out. Also, it's cool to see old decks keep getting support slowly. That's always something nice to see. It'd be cool to see some other decks, like Red Eyes is getting support too, so... It'd be cool to see, like, more older decks get support. Not like Gravekeepers, I don't know which ones exactly. Maybe even going to GX support that isn't necessarily Heroes. That'd be cool too. I mean, you guys... Let me know what your thoughts are down below about this new Toon Kingdom. Do you think it makes Toons playable? Do you think it makes it doesn't really make a difference? Or do you think they're going to be OP, which I definitely don't think it's going to do that. But hey, let me know down below, and I'll see you later, guys. <laughs> An entire magical cartoon world. Welcome, Kaiba, to Toon World.